looks good. Wait a minute. Dang it. It's Ash Wednesday. Not today, steak. Not today. On Ash Wednesday, don't you know that's one of the guidelines, one of the things we're supposed to not have? Unless you're pregnant, nursing, maybe ill, or I suppose, no, oh, a dog. So you're in the clear, buddy. But for us humans, as we know, the, the church has given us some guidelines in order to enter into this most holy season of Lent by fasting and abstaining from meat. What can we say about this? Fasting, so that's having one normal meal, and you may also have two others, but the two aren't supposed to add up to, to one meal in themselves. Fasting is, is to take place on Ash Wednesday and Good Friday, two fast days, and we're on Ash Wednesday, and what a wonderful time of year. To whom does fasting apply? This is important. If you are 18, uh, between 18 and 59, then the guidelines for fasting will apply to you. Rufus is gonna be four, so in dog years, 28. So yeah, if you weren't a dog, you'd be fasting. Between 18 and 59, fasting. Abstaining, in which we, we do not eat meat, is on Ash Wednesday and all Fridays throughout uh, the, the great season of Lent. And that applies to those who are 14 and older. Um, so just wanted to give you uh, a few of these, these, these guidelines so these, to orient you throughout this holy season and as to why, you know, so we can feel the desire, um, the hunger that our souls have. It's just to remember our, our souls are hungering for, for the Lord. And then we abstain from meat because the true flesh, the only true flesh that we eat, especially on Fridays, is the flesh of Jesus Christ and the Most Holy Eucharist. And so we're reminded of that all Fridays throughout Lent. Have a blessed Lent. God bless you.